Okay, we're back. Coach Adam is Soccer Roots. Um, had a question from my dad in Chicago, which is awesome. I love that people are messaging me from miles away. Um, he was talking about the AYSO, which if you don't know what that is, that's kind of the biggest um, youth organized soccer program in the country. It's very accessible to pretty much anybody. It's a parent driven program, primarily um, at the very young level. And he just asked me, what advice would you give me for my very first session and, and to build off of that? So I'll do my best. So the very first thing that I would say is um, when you bring together a group of people, make sure that you get them to interact as quickly as you can. It seems so damn obvious, but people just don't really do that. They meet the team and they don't even get to know who the kids' names are. I'm not just talking about him, the coach, talking to the kids. I'm talking about the kids talking to the kids. You're gonna play with these kids for X amount of weeks. Introduce them. There's a really good game at very youth level that you can do. The kids dribble around and then when you say freeze, whoever they're closest to, they just shake hands or high five, whatever you want to do with the kid and say, hi, my name is Adam. He says, hi, my name is Steven, whatever. Dribble on. Now you have to meet a different kid. So what you're doing is you're giving purpose to the child with the ball um, to go and find a different person and introduce. So there's the very first thing I would do. You're building team rapport already. Um, the second piece of advice I would give is um, bring a plan. Don't turn up without any idea what you're gonna do. Try and set out over a period of time what is it that you want to achieve. Now, at AYSO or rec level, it's just about fun and education, right? I've seen coaches try and do like patterned play and third man runs and all this kind of stuff, and it's just not gonna work for you. So the next piece of advice is foundational drills or foundational fluid motion, basically keep it simple. Dribble, pass, teach them how to do these things. Um, because there's such a disconnect between um, the harder things and the easy things that they can't do that if they don't have that. And then it gets even worse because they go to a game to play, <clears throat> excuse me, and they don't have the foundational skills and then they get yelled at by parents on the sidelines but they don't have that knowledge. So you're yelling at a kid with no knowledge, which is just bullying effectively, right? So that's the next point is focus on your foundational skills. Just have them dribble for like 10 weeks. Have them dribble, fall in love with the ball, give them problems, turning, head up, focus, change your speed. All these kind of things are fantastic, but ultimately soccer comes down to how good are you with a ball? Stating the obvious, right? But people try and overthink it and they rush through it. They go, oh, but we did dribbling last week. We can't do that again. No, at Soccer Roots, at our early classes, when they're two, three, whatever, we focus primarily on dribbling. You know, we don't really bring in defending and passing and complicated issues until they're a little bit older because ultimately, like I said, be good on the ball, okay? Uh, the third thing I would do is I would really speak to the parents and try to build a community to make sure that it's a safe place for them to learn. And we know there's gonna be one mum or dad or hopefully not a few more that are going to get maybe too carried away and forget that it's not the World Cup final. It's just a place for kids to learn and see if this is their passion. You know, we're not gonna find Lionel Messi there. We need to just find passion and we need to make it fun for the kids. That's the very first thing should be leaving every practice with that. And that's my final point really for the coach. Just enjoy it, have fun. If you have fun, they'll have fun and they're gonna to wanna to do it more. So hopefully that's answered your question. Um, Chicago is pretty cold, I think, isn't it, in the winter? So you must be playing it in the summer there. So please take those pieces of advice. And if you have any more questions, reach out to me. Coach Adam with Soccer Roots.